Airplanes will soon take off in the midst of some serious solar power. It's a $2.9 million project that will install 132 panels at the Cyril E. King Airport. It's just south of the airport access road between the taxiway and our perimeter fence. When you're approaching the airport right now, they've already started and installed some of the posts and installing some of the racking system. And it's going to be between the fence and the access road. The system is going to be around 450 kilowatt system. The VI Energy Office used federal ERA funds to give the VI Port Authority $2.9 million for the project. It will ultimately accomplish two things. One, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And two, reduce the airport's WAPA bill, a bill that's around $300,000 a month. Port Authority probably pays around $300,000 a month in WAPA bills here at the airport and it's hoped that this will help cut this bill down somewhat. I'm not sure, but um, we're hoping that maybe 15 percent it, it should cut the bill. The panels haven't been installed yet, but here's how they'll work. The panels will take sunlight and convert it into electricity. Then that electricity will be used to supply power to a grid, which powers the terminal building. So during the day, the panels will produce power, which will allow the airport to use less WAPA and have a smaller bill. We're excited to find out how this thing is all going to work out. And if it's positive, um, we hope to expand it to all the facilities and the other two islands. So saving money, energy, and the environment can take off throughout the territory. Allison Bornfinak, News 2.